Clinton. Carol Summerfleck hasn't been shy about her feelings on GFT President Matt Rector and questioned why he's kept members in the dark about the U.S. Department of Labor's investigations. My concern is that Mr. Rector has not um, informed the members about this Department of Labor issue. He has not, I've been to the membership meeting and he never mentioned it. And I think it's about time that he let the members know what's going on. According to these documents, the U.S. Department of Labor is investigating the February election of officers for the GFT Board of Directors. You may recall Summerfleck challenged the results earlier this year, filing a complaint with the Guam Federation of Teachers and the American Federation of Teachers. Summerfleck believes the final results, although never published, will show she actually beat Rector and that the two schools allowed to participate in voting were not counted. This is the first indication of the, uh, some action being taken by the Department of Labor. They are now opening two envelopes. JFK and Ordo Chalampalga, which is about over 70 votes. According to a statement of concern written by Summerfleck, there is no question she received some 56 more votes than Rector. When KUM spoke with Rector Monday afternoon, he said he didn't see Summerfleck's statement but defended. The election committee said I won, so I take them on their word. I didn't count the votes. Rector adds he's cooperating with USDOL in its investigation into the complaints. She protested a long time ago, and it's been going on and on and on. And the DOL has asked for extension after extension. I think this is their third or fourth extension that they've asked for, and we granted it to them. We want to give DOL the time to do their job.